Welcome back everybody. As you guessed by the title of the video, we are going over Olight's September 2020 flash sale. So uh, there's a few lights that are contained within this flash sale. However, one of them I do not have. It is a bike light. Um, I don't ride a bike with lights, so really didn't think it would be much interest to the audience. However, you guys can see the info on it here on your screen. Additionally, you guys can see here on your screen the sale dates, the times, etc. I think this one's 28 hours. And uh, one light that I am excited about is this little guy. I think it's a fantastic light. Uh, it is the Warrior Mini. So uh, basically we have a tail cap here, which is a gas pedal style tail cap, meaning that if you press it lightly, it will go on low and then you go high and it goes high. It's a um, 9,000 candela. It's just a little bit over 9,000 candela and 1,500 lumens in this little package. I mean, this thing's not big. Um, so in terms of output, it's huge. And then additionally, it still has the side controls here, which allow you to work through different modes, go to turbo, go down to low if you want to conserve light, etc. And uh, you can lock it out, all of those sorts of things. The cap here also works as a uh, charger so you can charge it just like that it also has a little pocket clip to be carried either bezel up or bezel down either way you can also clip it on a hat all of those sorts of things because you guys are my audience i know you're going to ask can you weapon mount it the answer to that is sure you definitely could and you could use uh just the tail cap activation that said it's not a one inch diameter so the two mounts out there that i'm aware of that it would work with are the vtac mount uh, the VTAC mount because it has that little insert for smaller lights and then additionally there's a UTG one I think it's the pro don't quote me on that I'll roll in a screenshot and a link in the video description of these um, because that has an insert for smaller lights as well those two should work just fine and um, in terms of durability and all that stuff again these have been dropped many times don't see an issue with it should work fine on a rifle if you want to do that now pricing wise uh, you guys can see it here on your screen it's 30 percent off uh, if you buy just the light and then of course bundles typically with o light make it 40 percent off we're going to show you the beam pattern of these those here in just a second though then we have the p, p run um little sort of compact light here with a 90 degree head um, i'm a big fan of these one thing you can do and i actually just did it the other day when I was out here cleaning up after a video is just clip it on your shirt and use it to walk around, you go hands-free, those sorts of things. Speaking of going hands-free, they have an interesting system for it, um, which is this little clip here and you can mount it on there. And then at this point you can rotate it up or down. Now it comes with a Velcro patch on there and their, their own headband it works with. However, I actually think it works better with like, if you guys have like a baseball hat or a chest rig and you wanna put it on there, simply because with their mount there, you basically have this exposed hook and loop portion there. That's basically just digging into your head. It works, it's suboptimal in my opinion. Again, putting it on something else that has a Velcro surface, in my opinion, whether it be a hat or whatever the case may be, um, is a little bit better. You can charge this one there on the base. It's also magnetic, as is this one, so you can stick it on a metal thing, surface area, and work off of it. Like out in my garage, I have a steel uh, tool organizer. I can stick it right on there, then just hit the light and all my work area is illuminated. Obviously you can carry it in your pocket with a two-way clip as well. Um, and it is, again, rechargeable. We already mentioned that has good surface texture and this is a limited edition color as is the camo version of the Warrior Mini. And additionally, the light that seems to be in every Olight flash sale, this is their i3T EOS. It's a AA pattern powered battery. Uh, this limited edition version is red with the copper. This is offered as a bundle um, with uh, the other lights that I just mentioned. Uh, we're not going to do a beam comparison because I've done that in literally every video for the last uh, six months on this one, but I will reiterate to Olight, unfortunately this light is low high output. So for the American market, I think they should make one that's high low. If that was the case, it would be a decent little uh, carry light. Again, it's nice and small. AAA powered, those sorts of things. Regardless, let's go ahead and uh, check out the beam patterns and then we'll wrap it up at the end. For those of you that are new here, the spot where the wood fence meets the iron fence is approximately 35 feet away. Those trees there in the back are 40 to 50, depending on the actual tree. And the output that you're seeing right now is from the P-Run Mini um, on turbo. So you guys can see we have a nice wide beam pattern, good spill, good quote unquote situational awareness. But uh, of course, that's still a lot of candela, especially for a light of its size. We'll work through the different modes there. There 
is our low, medium high, low, medium high, and then again, turbo like you guys saw in the intro. Here we have the output from the Warrior Mini. You guys can see it's a more focused beam than what we just saw. And at this distance here, the hotspot's probably, I'd say about 12 feet. So you have good spill as well. It's not a super, super throwy light, but again, the Candela is definitely pushing out there pretty darn well. And I'll kind of go all the way off camera and you'll see it almost has 180 degree uh, flood. So for a light that has the Candela that it has, particularly at its size, um, I think that's pretty good. And if you activate the strobe mode, if you guys have seizures or anything, turn away, but that's what it looks like on strobe, at least in video that only records uh, in 24p. So there's that, it may not be seeing all of it. Regardless, it has the ability to work through the modes there on the side. So you see the low, medium, high, and then of course you double click it and you get your turbo. With the beam comparison out of the way, we've pretty much covered all of the important things that we need to know about these lights. One thing I should have mentioned here on this little guy is that it is activated there on the top button and then you work through the modes as such and then you double click for turbo. Uh, these obviously, as you guys saw, are also capable of strobe. So there is that. And uh, that's pretty much it. I know some folks don't like o light flash sale videos, but I also know a lot of folks love them. So, hey, it is what it is. Um, if you don't like it, don't click on the video. If you clicked on this video to leave a, a mean or angry comment, try being an adult, might, might help you out. Um, but there's that, guys. If you're new here and you like the video, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe, follow, like, whatever, uh, wherever you're watching this button. And I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.